Last but not least, fuck humble. What's going on, you guys? Tiafimo Lopez. As we know, has been under some fire from some of his remarks towards black fighters. Josh Taylor is his upcoming opponent, and many people believe that Josh Taylor is going to run Tiafimo Lopez right out of the ring. Josh Taylor himself says that, look, if Tiafimo Lopez, he has doubts, I'm going to cement them in him and retire him for good. Hit that like button for your boy, William Bushido Boxer TV. This is where we're going to be. But Tiafimo Lopez is feeling some type of way, right? He, he He's really, really upset that the black fighters, and we already talked about this, right? And I know this has been one of the um, hot topics in the boxing community. Tiafimo Lopez, he knew that this was going to trigger uh, some attention towards his way. I'll bet some negative attention, but attention nonetheless, right? And Tiafimo Lopez Sr. come out and tries to explain why his son said what he said. Salute to Mill City Boxing. Check it out what Tiafimo Lopez Sr. had to say. What I'm trying to say is like, you know, we didn't mean nothing about when my son said that, that, that top rank could stay with all his black, with all their black fighters because you know what it is? When Devin Haney came into top rank and all this, they're promoting him more than they're promoting my son. He feels a little type of way. You know, you got to understand this. We're fighting the top dude, bro. And we got to get some respect for that, you know? And he just feels some type of way. Like, you know, like, oh, they they, they, they just, they just want to promote, you know, in his mind, the black fighters, you know, you got Keyshawn Davis, you got Shakur Stevenson, you got Baby, you know, you got, you know, so you got all these fighters from top rank that are getting more recognition that my son is getting. And he's trying to fight the top, the top dogs. So that's just that's just something that he had inside that he felt like, you know, that he's not being um, that he's not being uh, what, what I'm trying to say is like, you know, we didn't mean nothing about when my son said that, that that top rank. Was now to hear what he had to say. Right. Um, I'm not really trying to hear it. Me personally, I'm not really trying to hear that. Um, we already know what it is. If you've been around long enough. You already know what it is, man. You know, Tiafimo Lopez said what he said, and he really meant what he said. Right? He meant what he said, and I'm not surprised. It is what it is. You upset because ESPN Top Rank is really pushing the black fighters. And this is really just karma for Tiafimo Lopez because he kind of somewhat turned his back on ESPN Top Rank, right, when Trilla was around. Yeah, we never forgot about that. Not to mention you're questioning yourself on TV, You know, Josh Taylor even came out and said he's mentally fragile. Josh Taylor wants to put a beating on him and finish him off good. And guess what? I'm going to be rooting for Josh Taylor, the time return tornado, to beat the shit out of Tiafimo Lopez. Fight, you know, the cameras actually caught him before the judges rendered the decision. Him looking at his corner and mouthing the words, am I still that guy? So he even was questioning himself after that last fight, do, do you think he's still the same fighter that we saw, like, when he was fighting Lomachenko? Well, that doing that he got from uh, Cambosis um, certainly done, dented his confidence and his ego. His ego's taken a massive hit. And uh, you, you, can see he's a bit, you can see he's a bit mentally fragile anyway. So, um, with me, with this fight, I plan on retiring this guy. Um, I plan on giving him that much of a beating that he, he doesn't think he's that guy anymore. So... Uh, he's already got them doubts. I'm going to cement them and retire them. And yeah, going to this fight this upcoming June, Taylor versus T.O. Um, Tiafimo Lopez hasn't looked good ever since his campaign at 140 pounds. Tiafimo Lopez just hasn't looked as good um, as he did prior to facing George Cambosis. Um, he's doubting himself. He's questioning himself. And, and you know, he, he looks for this woe is me, sympathy stuff. And then now he's coming out here talking all this shit. Ryan Garcia quit. This, that, and the third. You know, like Mike Tyson's scary dude. And, you know, he's saying what, whatever and whatever's on his mind. And now his father comes out to try to, you know, smother some of the flames that was ensued by his son. But where's his son at to, to, to come, out, come out and say something to address this? Nah, he ain't going to say nothing at all because that's what he meant. And it's cool. Stand on that shit. So when Josh Taylor beats your ass and retires you for good, 
good riddance. Good riddance. Not a fan of Tiafimo Lopez, right? And you know your boy Bushido. Um, always like to give the guys benefit of the doubt. Always like to give guys a second chance. This is why I'm, I'm looking at Ryan Garcia. Guys like AJ, I'm rooting for them. I want to see what they can do on their return. You know, these guys were the ones at the top. I want to see how they bounce back. I'm always rooting for a guy. But Tiafimo Lopez, nah, I'm not rooting for you, bro. I'm rooting for Josh Taylor to go beat the shit out of you. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Because I see the energy. Right. I saw the animosity in your voice when you were saying what you were saying. You meant everything you said. You really wanted to say something else. But it's cool. We get it. Right. He's just upset because the black talent and people say box is not about race, but really it is. OK. And every so often things like this come about, you know, some type of racial words and some something, whatever. This this always happens. This is nothing new. There's nothing surprise. There's nothing shocking. But what will be shocking is when Josh Taylor shocks Tiafimo Lopez and retires his little punk ass for good. Like, subscribe, how's your boy? Peace out.